the half-life of a radioactive element X is four hours. So that means that every four hours we will lose about half of the element X's nuclei as they decay radioactively by emitting alpha, beta or gamma radiation. So we test a sample of material and we find it to contain about 0.18 grams of element X. So what was the mass of element X present in the sample 20 hours before the sample was tested? So this is kind of going back in time. We, are, we end up with 0.18 grams of element X, but in previous hours it was decaying. So we must have had more than that. So let's work backwards from this half-life question. And we'll start at 0.18 grams of element X. That's what we ended up with. So every four hours, we would have lost half of that mass. So we would have had 0.36 grams four hours before that. And if we keep going another half-life before that, we would have had 0.72. So I'm going backwards in time, as it were, reversing the process. Another four hours of half-life, we would have had 1.44 grams. Let's do another half-life before then. That would have been 2.88 grams. And finally, another four hours before that it was 20 hours in total we would have got double 288 so that would be let's see 6 carry 1 another 6 that would be 7 and carry 1 and that would be 5 5.76 grams so 5.76 grams was the mass of element X in the sample. Twenty hours before it was tested. And all because we know that every half life every half life that passes we lose half the mass of the radioactive element as it decays into a new element. And so that is a half-life calculation working backwards in time using the half-life of an element.